on Sri Krishna and Dionysus. De Sri Krishna et de Dioniso. Krishna has names and forms innumerable, and I know not his true human birth, for his formula is of major antiquity, but his word hath spread into many lands, and we know it today as I-N-R-I, with the secret, e a o concealed therein. And the meaning of this word is the working of nature in her changes. That is, it is the formula of magic whereby all things reproduce and recreate themselves. Yet this extension and specialization was rather the word of Dionysus, for the true word of Krishna was Om, importing rather a statement of the truth of nature than a practical instruction in detailed operations of magic. But Dionysus, by the word of INRI, laid the foundation of all science as we say science in today in a particular sense, that is, of causing external nature to change in harmony with our wills. On Tehuti, Te Tehuti. Tehuti, or Thoth, confirmed the word of Dionysus by continuing it, for he showed how by the mind it was possible to direct the operations of the will. By criticism and by recorded memory, man avoided error, but the true word of Tehuti was a mo whereby he made men to understand their secret nature, that is, their unity with the true selves, or as they then phrased it, with God. And he discovered unto them the way of this attainment, and its relation with the formula of I-N-R-I. Also, by his mystery of number, he made plain the path for his successor to declare the nature of the whole universe in its form and in its structure, as it were an analysis thereof, doing for matter what the Buddha was decreed to do for mind. On that Egyptian Magus whom the Jews called Moshe, de quadum mago Egyptorum, quem apulent Jude Moshe, the follower of Tehuti was an Egyptian whose name is lost, but the Jews called him Moshe, or Moses. The follower of Tehuti was an Egyptian, whose name is Lost, but the Jews called him Moshe, or Moses, and their fabulists made him the leader of their legendary exodus. Yet they preserved his word, and it is Yahweh, which thou must understand also, that secret word, which thou hast seen and heard in thunders and lightnings, in thine initiation to the degree thou wottest of, but this word is itself a plan, a fabric of the universe, and upon it hath elaborated the Holy Kabbalah, whereby we have knowledge of the nature of all things, so ever upon every plane of becoming, and of their forces and tendencies and operations, with the key to their portals, nor did he leave any part of his work unfinished, unless it be that accomplished 300 years ago by Sir Edward Kelly of whom I also come, as thou knowest. On the Arabian Magus Muhammad, the Mago Abariko Muhammad, Behold, in these chapters have I thy father restricted myself, not speaking of any immediate echo of a word in the world, because there are men being long since withdrawn into their silence. It is their one word, and that alone that resoundeth undiminished through time. How Muhammad who followeth, is darkened and confused by his own nearness to our time, so that I may not save with dividends that his word Allah may mean this or that, but I am bold concerning his doctrine of the unity of God, for God is man. And he said, therefore, man is one, and his will was to unite all men in one reasonable faith, to make possible international cooperation in science. Yet he arose in the time of the greatest possible corruption and darkness, when every civilization and every religion had fallen to the ruin by the malice of the great sorcerer of Nazareth. As some say, he is still hidden in the dust of Samum, and we may not perceive him in his true self of glory. Nevertheless, behold, O my son, this mystery, his true word, La Allah, that is to say, there is no God, and La Hal, La Al, is that mysteries of mysteries, which had thine own eye pierced in thine initiation, and of that truth have illusion and in falsehood enslaved the souls of men, as is written in the Book of Magus.
On the great beast himself, the Logos of the Aeon, whose word is Thelema, Ge se ipso toi megai theria to agio ainos, cujos verbum est Thelema, me seeth. In certain hours that I am myself fallen, on a time even more fearful and fatal than did Mohammed, peace be upon him. But I read clearly the word of the Aeon, that is, Abra Hadabra, wherein is the whole mystery of the great work, as thou knowest. And I have the book of the law that was given unto me by him, and it is the interpretation of the secret will of man on every plane of his by coming, and the word of the law is Thelema. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Now, because love is the law, love under will, do I write this epistle for thee, that thou mayest fulfill this inmost will of mankind, making them capable of light, life, love, and liberty by the acceptance of this law, and the hindrance thereunto is but as the shell of its egg to an eaglet, a thing foreign to itself, a protection until the hour strike, and then an end thereof.